The supply and demand curve allows us to look at the relationship between buyers and sellers in a market economy. On this graph, we start off by analyzing what is on the X and Y axis. On the Y axis is the price of a product. On the X axis is the quantity of that product. We have a downward sloping demand curve and an upward sloping supply curve. These two curves intersect at what we call equilibrium. That is price equilibrium and the quantity equilibrium. As a result of a dynamic economy, the supply and demand curve can both shift in each direction, left or right, based on market conditions. Let's first take a look at the increase and decrease in demand. If we have an increase in demand, we will see this as a reflection of a shift to the right in the demand curve, bringing us to D1. Now, there's a new intersection, and what this intersection represents is an increase in price of this product and an increase in the quantity supplied. Recall that a shift to the right of the demand curve causes movement along the supply curve. As prices rise for this product, the producer increases production or increases their quantity supplied. Now let's look at a decrease in demand. A decrease in demand is reflected as a shift to the left of demand. With a shift to the left of demand and a reduction in demand, we see that there is now again a new point of intersection. As the consumers buy less of the product, the supplier loses the incentive to produce this product. Just like demand, supply can also shift. If we have an ability to increase the supply of a product, we will see a supply curve shift to the right. As the supply curve shifts to the right, prices are reduced. Anytime you can produce more of something, that something becomes less expensive. And the ones that benefit from this increase in production and lower price are the consumers, as they can now buy more of the product, thus increasing their quantity demanded. A shift to the left of the supply curve is a reflection of a decrease in supply. So for whatever reason, now there is a reduction in the output of this product. Anytime you have less of something, that something is more expensive. With a reduction in this product, there is an increase in prices. With an increase in prices, there is a movement along the curve, reducing the quantity demanded of this product. Supply and demand is fundamental to economics and fundamental to this course.